Hello everyone, I'm Steven Snake You Can Lindsay here. I'm an artist over at stripgenerator.com, and this is one of the more popular questions I've been getting asked a lot. And that is, how do you create all these different colors over here? I mean, there's green, there's, let's say, purple pink, because I'm a guy, I can't tell the difference really. Let's go with Kirby color. We have gray, dark blue, and dark red. But you might be saying, well, the only colors I have are black, blue, and red. And maybe a few of you know that if you happen to invert black, you get white. So right there's only four colors, but a lot of those are green, Kirby color, gray, dark blue, and dark red. Well, here's something else. Like the white, you can invert your blue and red. Now, if you're back in the days like I was, whenever you inverted these colors, they would become either black or white, depending. But now, when you invert blue, it becomes brown. When you invert red, you get cyan. Now, if you're a guy like me, you don't know the colors that well, and you would probably just call this the other blue, but call it cyan. That's why everyone understands, and the girls won't kill you. So, this is what we're going to do to create these different colors. Let's start off with are dark blue and dark red. Now these are gonna be very, very similar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our blue undercoat, which is for this one. Now if you want, you can use red for this because it's gonna be the same pattern, just instead of blue, it's gonna be red. So I'm just gonna put these two together in one. So what we're gonna do is put black on top of your blue. As you can see, it looks black right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the opacity, which is right here, until we get a certain blue we want. So this can be, say, day color blue and nighttime. So as we see, we have the nice different array from light blue to dark blue. As I said, you can apply that with red as well, but it's very similar, so I don't feel like wasting time on that. Now for this Kirby color. We're gonna have a blue undercoat, as I like calling it like it is painting. And then we're going to put on red on top of that. Now, as a note, you could reverse these if you felt like it, but it really doesn't matter that much, so I'm just going to do it this way. And as you can probably figure out, as soon as you change the opacity on this, you get different colors, such as our Kirby one, then there's a little more purple, and then you just go through your color range, whichever one you want. So there's probably about three or four different colors you can get through with that. So the final one that everyone probably wants to know about is green it comes from brown and cyan so what we're going to do is have our brown undercoat and then put cyan on top of that now for all of you who are probably going ahead of me right now and say all oh, right i can figure out what to do just lower the opacity then you go through the entire spectrum and say well there's no green anywhere in between here sure you might get somewhat close to it if you squint your eyes but it's not there well the truth of the matter is this right here is that green? You might be saying I'm BSing you right now, but it's the truth. Here's the trick. You gotta go over to blur and blur it by 1% or two, whatever. And as you can see, it changes magically to green for some weird reason. So again, no blur, some blur, no green, green. Now we recommend you try to keep it on, let's say one or two blur because the more and more you do, well, the more it looks like that. And the smaller it gets, the more messed up it looks. So one or two blur is best. Now for gray. As you can probably figure out by now, if you just change the opacity on black, you get gray. But let's say, for example, you wanted this light gray, but you want it on top of the red. As you can see, it's not the same color. So this is what you need to do. So if you want that color, this is what you're going to do. Copy it so it's in the same shape, put it to 100% opacity, change it to white, put it to the bottom, to the back, get both of those together, bring both of those to the front, and as we can see, we have our gray. So simple, eh? Anyways, that more or less sums up this entire tutorial. If you have the theme pack, you have green officially, or without having to mix colors, I mean. And also, if you invert said green, then you'll get pink, I believe. So you can mix those colors with these colors by default, and I'm sure you can get lots more different colors from those combinations. 
except for probably yellow because we still don't have yellow people. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything, don't be afraid to either message me over at stripgenerator.com. I'm Snake Yukin. For this one week, I'm feature artist, which maybe some of you may not be reading or listening to this tutorial whenever I am. So just search for Snake Yukin, or you can message me or comment here, and I'll try to get to your responses as soon as I can. And I'm going to be trying to have up several different tutorials from, uh, try to do it maybe daily, maybe every other day and tell you how to create different stuff, other tips and tricks like masking, which is going to be our next tutorial, and try to combine all the different elements that I'll be teaching you through these individual tutorials to create characters, items, say guns, because I'm quite popular for my guns over on Strip Generator. Also, if you happen to like this video, or you want to be up to date on all my tutorials for Strip Generator, or all the other stupid videos that I'm hoping to do eventually, then subscribe to me. It only takes one click and you'll be up to date on all my videos with no hassle at all. Also, if you do like this video, please rate, comment it, fave it, tell all your friends that you strip generator because, well, the more I get, the higher up my video is and the easier it is for people like you to find this video.